Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Only it's not gonna be a challenge run. I feel like since I've been back, the challenge runs, I've lost a little bit of my mojo. Not just when it comes to challenge run suggestion, uh, but when it comes to actually like playing as well. So I figure a vanilla run. I realize we did one only five or six episodes ago, but a vanilla run might be a good way to kind of get back into the swing of things. I'm so gonna be playing as Isaac, my favorite character, my most comfortable character. By the way, right off the top of this video, I would like to say this is gonna sound like complaining. I don't mean it to sound like complaining, I just mean it to sound like a suggestion. Lately, one second, I'm gonna reroll Mom's pad. Lemon mishap, god damn it. Um, lately, the top comments have deviated a little bit from. Uh, challenge run suggestions and more towards gameplay suggestions, which I understand, believe you me, I've been playing pretty terribly lately. Uh, I suppose we are just going to abandon the item room on this floor, sadly, because it's garbage. Uh, but I would encourage you, you know, continue making comments about the gameplay, that's fine. But when it comes to, like, voting up comments, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But I will say, that was terrible on my part, I will say that it makes it a lot easier on me to pick new challenge runs when those challenge runs actually show up in the top comments, rather than reading, you know, 500 to 600 comments. I instead basically have like a voting metric uh, where I can look for fan favorites basically, which makes things a lot easier on me, it makes for better content in general, so I encourage you when you're voting for comments, uh, perhaps it would be helpful on me to swing your votes towards challenge runs as opposed to telling me that I uh, fucked up and got, you know, Blood of the Martyr and the Halo mixed up, which I understand it's an annoying mistake, man! Especially 413 videos in. That being said, uh, in order to, to help me out, it would definitely be nice to be able to have kind of an easier way to see those challenge run suggestions. But in any case, I digress. We're done with our first floor. The uh, net change with respect to our uh, items, or our stats, if you will, uh, is one tiers upgrade, which is pretty weak. However, you know, it, it could be worse. We could have gotten, like, you know, Pageant Boy and, I don't know, Holy Water or something. Actually, Holy Water probably would have been okay in this situation, because it's like Lemon Mi <clears throat> Pardon me, you got something cut in my throat. Lemon Mishap, but passive, uh, which certainly beats Lemon Mishap. Did you see the fucking F equals MA that that spider got? What the fuck happened there? Is the floor made of ice? Uh, I'm gonna put this bomb here, because I want this tinted rock. I thought maybe it would have a chance to... Are you kidding me? Well, we got two cents for a bomb and a key. That is a pretty piss poor trade. We're gonna just kill. Oh, yeah, fuck you too. Uh, we are gonna go to the boss room right away, though. We really need some good items to stack up here. It's not the end of the world. Uh, Pink Widow is kind of a pain in the ass uh, due to the uh, A, the red uh, nubs that it creates, and also B, the fact that it jumps uh, very, very frequently. So we're just gonna kind of let it create those red nubs, and we're gonna hang out on the side of the map uh, that is largely bereft of them. At least for now. Uh, might be a little tricky. When we get a chance, it might be worth it to take out the red nubs, although uh, the Widow will do a decent job taking it out itself. Himself? Herself? I guess, because since it's the Widow, it's gotta be a female. Uh, but in any case, that was a good fight. I didn't take any damage, I think. At least not yet, which means deal with the Devil is an option, although now it is sadly not. We will take our Spirit Heart, we will take our HP upgrade. Now I'm feeling better about this floor. Uh, we want to use our key to go to the item room, of course. Hopefully, you know, Pyro. We find Pyro in the item room, 99 bombs, we go to the secret room, we start blowing up these chests, and they wouldn't be like picking up a mom's knife or something, but it would be a start for sure. Uh, these tinted rocks are gonna be annoying if I have to, uh, leave them, unfortunately. So we have to kind of like stand near the entrance here to get these spiders to come out, or we can just do what we've done so far and just like throw in shots occasionally. Might be okay now, there we go. Just got a heart available, uh, what do we have here? Peeper's Eye. It's a passive, so I'm gonna take it. I hate that we were stuck with that dilemma. Uh, it also gives us extra damage, I think, out of one of our eye slots. Now, I said eye slots, not eye sluts. Eye slots, by the way, sounds like a sweet ass, like, online casino domain name, uh, which probably already exists. Eye slots, eye slots.biz, eye slots.me. Well, extra key is fine. Well, you know what? We have to open this golden chest. Tammy's head. Let's re-roll it. Uh, money bag. Okay, so that, that worked out. I, I feel okay with that for the key. I thought about Tammy's head. I, I, I like that item more and more, but the reason I wanted to open this uh, golden chest in the first place was to try to find bombs so I could start like the chain reaction of, uh, you know, maybe we get a bomb from uh, and a spirit heart from that tinted rock, then we blow up another tinted rock, we get a key and a spirit heart or another bomb, etc, etc. Sadly, it didn't work out that way, so we're leaving for the next floor with five cents, no bombs, and no keys. Peeper's Eye, an extra HP, and the Penny Sack. Uh, we're not in a great situation, but we do have kind of a groundwork laid that could potentially create good things for us in the future. We should get a lot of money if we manage to get enough keys. You know, we'll be able to go to those shops, potentially make something 
worthwhile happened. That was very bad dodging on my part. Health-wise, we're totally fine, so if we get more uh, deals with the devil, we could possibly make a good trade there. That was, again, terrible damage to take. But hey, easy come, easy go with respect to that spirit heart. We got it randomly just for beating the boss, so it's no big deal. Champion is going to give us something we don't need. How about this champion? I really need a bomb or a key as soon as possible. Single penny's not going to do it. That's probably the least valuable. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, pennies are the least valuable thing that we can get right now. Least valuable consumable, I should say. Item room, don't let me down. Ten extra bombs, I'm gonna take it. Again, not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth on this one. Saves us from doing extra reroll math, and we've had to make some compromises with respect to our rerolls so far. You know, Peeper's Eye, not fantastic. Ten extra bombs, not fantastic, uh, but usable. So, uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna complain too much. Now, we will use these bombs as effectively as possible. I'll try to go to the secret rooms. I'll, I'll, I'll try to, um... Leverage it into more money, maybe more keys, maybe more items if we get lucky and find a, an item slot or an item pedestal in the uh, secret room, if you will. We can't open that. Hmm. We do need keys as well, because pretty soon these shops are going to become not only worthwhile, but potentially like really uh, indicative of our chances of success. So Peeper's Eye is going to tear through these guys in a second. Just be careful. No! Oh, I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Okay, extra key is great. Extra money is good. Let's fight our boss because we've got D6 ready. Boss is just going to be Chubb. Uh, I could use bombs to take him out, but I think we're going to fight the War of Attrition here uh, instead. We'll, we'll fight Chubb the old-fashioned way, just, you know, doing shots from afar. Pretty much describes my university experience as well. And the more Chubb kills his own dudes, the better it is for me, obviously. I have the range necessary to kind of just back it up. Let Peeper's Eye do damage when it can. I could probably, if I was the best Isaac player on Earth, I could probably try to, like, tailor Chubb's movement to, to get maximum Peeper's Eye coverage. I think the odds of that happening consciously are pretty low, though. Uh, Peeper's Eye might catch him here. No, he's just barely gonna miss. So far, so good, though, on this fight. I'm really hoping for a deal with the Devil. In addition to uh, a good item. Even just a standard HP upgrade would be fine, because I, I really want to get that deal with the Devil working. Obviously, Mom's Knife and Brimstone, Spirit of the Night. Those uh, standard Northern Line items are a priority for me, if possible. Good fight! Now, just don't take dumb damage against the Silkworms and, and all is right in the world. Fantastic. That went really well. I'm not going to reroll Squeezy. I love the Tears upgrade and the two Spirit Hearts. What do we get from our deal with the Devil? Some interesting options. I like them. I'm going to reroll them. We get Spirit of the Night instead. Okay. I feel like that was a good decision. Not... I, I mean, Mark in the Pact, great items, of course. Uh, I was cool with either of those. Um, but instead... I, I, Spirit of the Night, I think, is... Almost, you could make the case that it's almost objectively better. Even though we're not going to be doing as much damage now as we would have been otherwise, uh, we have the ability to have much better defense, so that's going to benefit us a lot. Plus, the ability to fly, of course, means not using so many bombs to get all of our possible upgrades here. I'm going to use this bomb or this pill. Bad trip. That cost us a spirit heart. We're going to get, possibly, if we get very lucky here, uh, attack fly from Envy, assuming there's blue uh, attack flies. But really, I would just love more keys. Bombs, uh, we're okay for right now. Uh, the keys would be very beneficial for me. I could use one of our keys here to go to the mob trap room, but it's probably better. Oh, there is a blue one. Okay, so if we kill the blue envy last, then we should have, uh, like, we just keep one of those blue guys alive. Oh, shit, no. Peeper's Eye, don't ruin this for me. I'm gonna be pissed. I have to kill the non-blue ones. Oh, it almost got, no, I can see them. Oh, there's another blue one on the screen right now. Okay, this is good. Don't hit the blue one yet. Oh, there's two blue ones. I think if we kill the blue ones last, we get the attack fly guaranteed. Fantastic. The revelation, it came fairly late. But the revelation that you can actually tailor which items you get on a lot of these boss fights by killing certain colors last uh, it was a big one, for sure. I think this is, or this is going to be the secret room. One of these two. That's going to be it right there. More money would be fantastic. Three cents. We're right at the borderline of what I would consider um, worthwhile going to the shop. Because uh, there's always the chance we get nothing in there, but there's always the chance we go to the shop and we get another key or something. So it might be worthwhile. I'm a little skeptical, but, you know, oh, now we have enough money. Problem solved. Let's check out what we've got in here. 15 cents for the ladder. So that was a total waste, unfortunately. Maybe we'll get more money or keys in here. I still don't know if keys can actually be in the fire in the first place. How are our chances looking right now? I feel like I've played reasonably well in this run. I feel a lot better. My confidence is up a little bit. Uh, but in terms of actual, like, item power, we're not quite there yet. We're not quite at the point where we need to be. 
We need a good space bar item, which, you know, for once we do have the opportunity to get, because we don't have, uh, we, we can get rid of our D6 space. There's no challenge run precluding us from doing so. Uh, the flying is, is nice. The spectral tears in combination with that obviously gives us some added defense, should I just choose to use it properly, which is up in the air. Peeper's Eye, now that there's not a lot of shit on the screen, I'm starting to realize Peeper's Eye, you know, pretty effective <clears throat> in its own right at, a uh, helping us do damage here. But I've, certainly, with only two hearts, I've got to be very cautious about my play. I, I, I've got to use space accordingly, I've got to use rocks accordingly, and maybe with a little bit of luck we might have a chance to turn this into a, uh, a beautiful and successful run. Anything could happen, but uh, that's the way I feel right now. Op cautiously optimistic perfectly describes my feelings. Our pill gave us a health up, which is fantastic. Obviously that's one of those things that I was really looking for moving forward. So we're going to be fighting- oh! Sloth this time. Sloth can give us a tarot card, and considering we have zero keys, can Sloth give us a t- yeah, Sloth can give us a tarot card. Or unless I'm thinking of Pride. If- well, well, we'll see, you know what, there's no point going through more conjecture until we know for sure. Uh, he's just gonna give us Bob's Rotten Head, which is an automatic reroll if I've ever seen one. And that's gonna give us a little Steven, I'll take the extra damage vibe by way of the familiar. And we'll move on. Still need keys so we can go to that, uh, item room. Obviously that's gonna be a big determining factor in our success. The ability to get keys and go to item rooms and shops, because we have so much money. Uh... But it's still early on. We're still very, very early in the game. We're amassing not game-breaking items, but game-helping items. Which is, is uh, less indicative of our success, or less determining of our success. But nonetheless, it uh, helps us out a great deal. That was a fairly easy room, and things are just gonna get easier, I think, uh, for the next little while. Extra Spirit Heart in that fire randomly is uh, beautiful luck. Luck be a lady tonight as we come into this room, and basically should not have any chance of getting hit here. You know what, we're amassing a decent little army here, I've got to say. Our bomb situation is, is going well as well. Uh, we probably don't need too many more for the duration of the game. Oh, that was terrible damage by way of that fly. But we picked up a key as a result, so with our... Fortuitously getting our D6 recharge very recently, we will come back here and go to the item room. We're getting to those floors where you're going to have some backtracking. Obviously, I want a key to go to the shop as well. But given the mechanics of the D6, I think it's in our best... Uh, interest to, to go to the item room right away. Where we'll get Abel. Abel's okay, man. I got no problems with Abel. You know what? Let's take him because we're we're kind of stacking familiar damage here, which is okay with me. We've got a lot, a lot of random shit that does damage without me really needing to pay attention to it, and I like that. I like that I can just focus on myself and these things will, will do damage regardless uh, to all enemies in my wake. Now, the, the downside of this is that from a visual noise perspective, it's hard to tell what the fuck is going on. However, uh, I do have... That, that was an excellent key drop right there. Uh, I do have a lot of things working in my favor. This is definitely a situation where we're going to want to buy that treasure map. I'm going to want to buy the key as well. We can use that for a lot of stuff. Uh, and I would love to buy the spirit heart because we're certainly not out of the woods yet with respect to our health. But uh, that's not in the cards right now, obviously. So instead, let's just take this pill. Not a health up, but... Tears up, I'll take it. Uh, we have a <laughs> tempting demon judgment. Uh, we also have a teleporter, which I'm gonna reroll, and skeleton key. Fantastic! All right, so we are gonna have to fight out this room now. But uh, in terms of leverage and, and getting good items, we just picked up a lot of very, very good fucking stuff. It's gonna give us a, a much better chance moving forward, especially that skeleton key, man. Now that we no longer have to worry about keys, life is good. Certainly beats teleport as far as items go. We're not gonna have a reroll ready for the boss uh, or a deal with the devil room should we get one, but hopefully we don't need one. Now the question becomes, Mom's Knife or Brimstone shows up in that, uh, deal with the Devil Room, should we get one? Uh, do I take it? I- the answer, I think, has gotta be yes still, but, I don't know. Before we go that route, uh, we still have the opportunity to look for a secret room, potentially get some more money, or who knows, another item, like a 1-up or an Ankh. No, we've already been to the secret room, alright, I'm being a uh, ding-dong here. No, we haven't been to the secret room, but we bought the map. That's how it went down, okay. That's why the secret room appears on our on our map right now. Beautiful, so let's see what we've got in here. Tons more money. Excellent. That means we can go back and buy that spirit heart. Which is almost certainly in our best interest. And because we get so much money for the sack of pennies, we should be okay with money, uh, even though we're spending five right now. That was a good shop, we cleared it out. I'm assuming we're gonna fight greed in the near future. Uh, shit happens though. I mean, fighting greed is not the end of the world. And that extra spirit heart means that we might Let's a uh, thought experiment. HP upgrade from the boss right here. Two deal with the devil options. Nail and mom's knife, both at two hearts each. Does that put us in a very good position? It's a risky one. We'll have two spirit hearts and nothing else. 
three because we get one from the nail. Uh, but then we'll be poised to do uh, permanent invincibility from the Polaroid, and we'll have the nail and Mom's knife, which are obviously both awesome items. Now, this should be a case where I take none or little damage on this boss fight because I can just hang out over top of these rocks and Fistula won't be able to hit me. Not to mention, it shouldn't even take that long because I have all like my thousand nations of the Persian Empire are attacking the Fistula here. So this should be very easy. I'm starting to feel like we, we've got the conditions necessary for a good run here. But it's still up in the air. Well, we get an HP upgrade. I'll take it. No deal with the devil. Maybe on the next floor. I thought I earned it, but, uh, you know, maybe the, the dice roll went in the wrong direction for me this time. So we are dealing with Necropolis now. I'm excited about this run. Can you tell from my voice? I feel I'm rejuvenated. The last couple of Isaac runs, not to get too transparent or even cynical, but I've been like, oh, ho-hum, we're just going to die anyway. What's the point, man? Life's just a cruel illusion. I don't know. I've, I've never been emo enough to even be able to make those claims. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, the Ankh. We're just gonna take it. Again, not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. The reason the Ankh is a little bit better now than it used to be is obviously because, uh, by way of that permanent invincibility from Polaroid, it gives you a, a little bit extra defense as you move forward throughout the game. The further you get in the game, I think the better the Ankh becomes. So, this is an easy room for us to deal with. I'm obviously coming up to the terminal here because I want to see Tom Hanks. No, because I want to... Uh, world card. Let's pop that right away and stick with our Wheel of Fortune card. Because when I use a bomb to go to the secret room next time, on the next floor, I guess, because I already botched it on this one, uh, I'll, I'll use the uh, Wheel of Fortune card to possibly get some extra value out of it regardless. So our dead end is worthless here. Uh, but we might as well go to it anyway. Who knows? Maybe more bombs, maybe more spirit hearts. And as is, pretty much every room is, is easy for us to deal with. And, you know, the keys don't matter, but maybe the money will. I'm glad that we're getting two floors here, by the way. Alright, I, I kind of hate this room and wish we weren't dealing with it, but the two extra pennies is nothing to sneeze at. We can actually just use Able to do this without actually putting ourselves in any risk at all, as you can see in the, the right side there. This is going to be useful for doppelgangers too, I think, and there's an extra bomb which is worth picking up. Otherwise, we're just going to abuse our advantages and get out of here. What a weird run! Normally I rely on getting like one or two items that absolutely like blow the doors off. Here, we have a lot of items that provide a little bit of benefit. It's an unusual take uh, on this game for me. I like it, though. Uh, I really do not want to destroy the poop that has the neutral flies in it, because those dudes are super annoying. Thank you, Peeper's Eye, for doing a large chunk of damage there. I still took damage myself. Now, I just... Which one of these are friendly and which one of these are angry? There's so much shit on the screen. Peeper's Eye is being really effective. Uh, unfortunately, I took a little bit more damage there. So we're almost out of spirit hearts, uh, and again, that brings to light the, the fact that we have very little health, which is obviously worrying. We're gonna be fighting Super Greed, which might be worth it, because again, he gives us the quarter, big fucking deal, like, we don't need the quarter. But, that gives us an item pedestal that we can reroll, and in rerolling that item pedestal, who knows, maybe we pick up something amazing. I'm, I'm trying to use some bombs here for combat, it's not really working out very well. Uh, so I'm just gonna focus on dodging, there's so much shit on the screen though, there's a lot of visual noise right now. But just by dodging effectively, we should be okay. We'll let Peeper's Eye and Abel randomly do some damage here. That was bad damage on my part. Uh, and we are now completely out of Spirit Hearts, unfortunately. That bomb was a total waste. I'm not even sure what I was thinking there. At least give yourself some space between the, the bomb and the wall so you can kick it outwards if necessary. Man, there's a lot of shit on the screen right now. We're almost done with this fight, and there we go, we got the quarter, with only one floor left, especially considering how much money we generate due to the sack of pennies, that's definitely worth a reroll. Uh, and we'll pick up Nun's Habit, that's fucking awesome, that was maybe the best reroll we possibly could have imagined. We've got Pinky's Eye, uh, which is gonna give us some poison damage on some of our shots. Not all, but some. I don't even know why I'm coming down here. Well, you know, I'm glad we did, because we got a Tinted Rock and, uh, some money, as well as a Golden Chest, which contains more bombs and keys. So, at this point, I would say we make our way to the item room and then the boss room. The nuns have it. Big upgrade here, especially if we could somehow get an, an awesome uh, spacebar item. Because we probably no longer really require the, uh, the D6 in order to proceed. Uh, it, it's not a terrible item to have moving forwards, especially uh, once you get to the chest. It can be very helpful. Uh, but do we want to hold on to it until the chest? We will if we have to, if there's no better options. But... Uh, as is, we can switch it up. Uh, that's Odd Mushroom, I'm gonna take it. Perfect rate of fire, that gives us like a little speed up as well as a uh, maximum rate of fire. And considering that our damage is okay, it seems like a solid uh, upgrade for us to get. Anything that increases our ability to kill things 
is A-OK -okay in my books. I uh, can't believe we didn't take damage there. Managed to sort of abuse the, the green bomb shot to get some extra things killed. And just be careful. There we go. That was perfect. And we do have a uh, mob trap room, which we can go to right now if we so choose. It contains a golden chest, so we might as well. The tarot card is the world. Okay. Here's what we do. We have ten bombs. I want to blow up this slot machine. Uh, we're not going to be able to get anything out of blowing it up. Like, we're going to have to just use a bomb to blow it up. It's not like we could do... There's no, no situation where we were using a bomb anyway, is what I'm getting at. I really should have put it down next to that tinted rock earlier. Uh, but, you know, it's still a new strategy for me. Ah, don't stand there! That was really silly of me. Uh, I'm, I'm not playing fantastically on this room. But so far, it's been a fairly good uh, episode for, for gameplay, I think. In my opinion, at least. Left hand, I don't really like it that much. We're going to put down Wheel of Fortune. We're going to blow it up. Uh, it's going to give us four cents or something. Not really worth it. The reason I wanted to do this is obviously so we can hold on to the world card and take it with us. If not for use on the next floor, then a floor soon after. Alright, I, I thought I put myself in a defensible position there, but I did end up taking damage regardless. That's okay. You know, we've got a couple fistula parts to take care of. Should be pretty easy. Then we'll fight our boss, Necropolis Part 1. Could be the bloat. Champion bloat would be a, a real pain in my ass right now. Uh, I am, because I'm worried about the amount of health that I have right now. Gonna pick up some extra hearts that were just kind of sitting here on the map. It's been a little bit of a slow run so far, but we are in a decent position. But I, if I'm going to get rid of uh, some health at a deal with the devil, I absolutely need to pick up either an incredibly high damage item like Mom's Knife or Brimstone, or uh, the Nail. Basically, those are my options. It's just going to be a regular version of the blow. It's not the champion version, which is great for us. Uh, I'm pretty sure those eyes... You know, which one's the peeper's eye and which one's the eye that hurts me? I, I'm pretty sure these guys... Oh, they can! That was totally my bad. I didn't get hit there? Uh, the eyes can go over the, the rocks, which is... That was terrible dodging. Uh, which is worrying for me, as you might expect. Uh, and again, it's really confusing. I know which one, that when I look at them closely, I know which one Peeper's Eye is. However, uh, that was terrible damage as well. Uh, I really just do not want to... Uh, don't jump, don't jump. God damn it. I, I, my peripheral vision makes it difficult to tell which one's which, is what I'm trying to get at there. Bloat is a real pain in the ass. I'm just going to try my damnedest not to die here. I'm not even giving a shit about deals with the devil anymore. That's fine, man. Just by hanging out here, I should be okay. He shouldn't be able to get any shots in, and attack fly will just continue to do damage to him as it rotates around. This is fine by me. I can sit here all damn day. Especially since he apparently can't get close enough to actually use his laser. Oh, maybe now. Uh, managed to get out of there before anything too dire happened. That actually worked out quite well. All right, he's dead. We get a range upgrade, which is obviously an automatic reroll, uh, to exactly the same item, which I did not expect. Whatever, let's take it. The range upgrade might not be the end of the world. It's down to the next floor. I want to save this world card as long as it's humanly possible, and that might not be that long in the whole scheme of things. If we get a lot of red heart drops, maybe we can get an HP upgrade by way of the, the arcade here. We'll see, though. Again, everything is still uh, very much up in the air. And with our rate of fire and uh, poison damage over time, we should be able to kill all these guys easily without having to leave our sweet encampment here. Awesome, they are dead and we have money. Really hoping, I know there's a, an arcade there. Sorry, not an arcade, a secret room. There is an arcade there too though. Um, really hoping that we'll be able to uh, visit the shop and not encounter greed on this floor. That would be beautiful for me because I, you know, if I can get a book of revelations or something, I would be a very happy camper. Now, I am a little low on health. Here's the thing, do we want to roll Pinky Eye or Ace of Spades? It doesn't really matter because we're going to lose one of them after this floor regardless. I, I think we roll Pinky's Eye. Keep stacking up our damage. Uh, it gives us a little bit of added offensive potential. And plus, we attack so frequently by way of uh, that odd mushroom that we picked up that we might as well stick with what we've got, stick with what we know. Uh, and again, stack up damage that we can do, uh, you know, long term to enemies. It probably helps against bosses as well. Now, what do I want to get in the shop here? Book of Revelations is... Probably the bare minimum that I would pick up. I would definitely pick up the battery as well if it was there. Because, you know, I would be remiss if I let it go. Um, I would definitely pick up... I would pick up Blue Candle. I wouldn't be happy about it, though. I'm just going to blow this up. Actually, I would, I would be happy with Blue Candle. I'd be okay with that. Um, I don't know what else. Well, we'll see when we get to it. I just really don't want Notched Axe. I guess I will have some semblance of control over it. Considering I have uh, the... 
D6 still, with Nun's Habit, which means we're getting a, a lot of extra charges. But, you know, it's a long way until we know how this floor is exactly going to shake out. That was terrible damage. Is it just me or does it seem like champions are dropping more pennies than ever before? More keys too, especially now that I don't need them. Okay, compass. Beautiful. Compass is fine. We have compass plus map, uh, which is going to really help us on these later floors. Obviously, we do want to go to the item room here. Um, but yeah, compass plus map. Awesome. We don't even need this world card anymore. We might as well just pop it, which I did. Open up that slot for something else. Inevitably, there's going to be some people that, co that come up with like some weird technical, mathematical reason for why I shouldn't have used that world card yet. You could have used the world card to Zelda it over your head and you would have stutter stepped into a much better offensive position. I don't know, man. I'm trying to simplify things. The less mental energy I have to use on, on some of these rooms, the better it is because I have more mental energy to focus on, you know, things like dodging and killing enemies. Mental energy is a real thing. This isn't some new wave bullshit, man. Brain's a muscle. You gotta partition energy for it. ATP, motherfucker. See, wouldn't it, I would have been a great biology teacher, I feel. Uh, we're gonna drop a bomb down here and then move back this way just to save ourselves. We got a bomb and a key, which is obviously not really what I wanted out of that, but, uh, you know, getting that bomb is fine because we are a little low on, on that front. Uh, I'm just kind of hanging out over these rocks. I don't want to risk it by popping out here and possibly giving the zombies the chance to hit us. We'll just try to hit them from the side. We'll let attack fly and Peeper's Eye do their business. I picked up that key. The poison damage still hits them, even if it just splashes against the front of their face, so that's one way to do damage as well. This room's done. More money, and our item room contains... Whoa! Okay. That's gonna change everything. <laughs> we just picked up Fetus in a Jar. Damage be damned. Now is the time for us to enjoy glorious victory. Anything could still happen on this run. This is not epic, Fetus. Uh, I still have to aim these shots with my body, basically. 50% body, 50%... Well, actually, it's 100% body, really. Um, when it comes to Isaac. For me, it's 100% mind and hands. Uh, but, yeah, we're, we're in a, a better position offensively here, to say the least. Uh, but, again, I'm gonna hit myself a lot in all likelihood. Having more health would be fantastic. What this does mean is that I no longer have a need to trade in health for a deal with the devil. So, if I could just stack HP at this point, I would be a happy camper. Uh, and I'm glad that I picked up Spirit of the Night instead of picking up the Pact or something. Uh, which would now be basically in, uh, not valuable for us. Whereas Spirit of the Night is, of course, immensely valuable for us right now by way of giving us this added defense. So I'm feeling a lot better about my chances now. You win some, you lose some. Uh, and we could still lose this one. But it's becoming increasingly unlikely, I think, especially with those two Spirit R drops. Just randomly there. Just have to make sure that I'm not hitting myself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Um, yeah, basically my methodology for this fight is just take a guess as to where, like, you think mom's uh, appendages are going to come out. And if you guess right, that's like 10% of her health gone. Uh, we probably need to hit one more bomb. Maybe two. Nah, just one now. Oh, I managed to take some damage myself. There we go. Like I said, just take a guess. This might be one of those rare situations where Cat of Ninetales is actually really useful. Uh, obviously, we're taking the Polaroid. Uh, but I'm going to switch away from Cat of Ninetales instead. Yeah, crate, sure, that's fine by me. We'll get the bicycle card, we'll get the pill, which is... Uh, well, yeah, let's take it. Range down, whatever, not a big deal. Two of hearts could be big. Down to the next floor, map, compass, fetus in a jar, and the pink glitch. We should be basically fine here, especially Utero XL. We're going to find both of these boss rooms in like two seconds. That's beautiful. Gertie Jr. against, uh, you know, fetus in a jar is not the, the best possible situation for us, but hey, we managed to make it work okay. Now, the one sore spot for us, of course, is that we do still have uh, the D6, which we obviously want to switch to something else. Anything else at this point, really, would be better for us. We're just going to take some shots out here. Um, the uh, Spectral Tear effect does apply to the bombs as well, which is beautiful. These guys should be easy. And this one as well. I don't know. I, I feel like we're, we're, we're going to be fine here. I'm glad that that didn't teleport us. Spiders were not annoying. They could have been annoying. And hey, maybe the D6 will actually be valuable here. Because obviously we don't really want to go with the white pony. Maybe we could reroll that and get... Sometimes... What's the odd alternative one that he gives? Conquest gives like white pony cube of meat. Which is, is garbage. Um, is he ever going to come back out? Indeed he is. Basically, this guy only has one way to do damage to us. And it's going to be this way right here. Managed to avoid that well enough. The beams from heaven will never come over those rocks. Two more hits. 
Conquest should be dead. There we go. We get White Pony. Let's save our reroll because I don't want that or Kiba Meat. I'd rather... Oh, we don't, you know what? The reason I saved the reroll there is because I thought uh, we might be able to reroll what we get from Mom's Heart. But we don't get anything from Mom's Heart, so kind of a waste. Anyway, this should be uh, basically an automatic boss fight, obviously, when it comes to uh, Mom's Heart. Bombs are king, and all we shoot is bombs, and we shoot a lot of them on a very regular basis. Not the fastest boss fight we'll ever have, but uh, certainly fast enough. Just watch out for those. That was basically the only time I'm going to be in danger during this fight, unless some bombs come in after me, and they don't. Uh, so quickly, let's just come back here, reroll White Pony. Coin purse, did not expect that. One of these has to be a health upgrade. What's this one? Pretty fly, cool. Fine by me. Range down, not an issue. Health up, very excellent, and... Bad trip, which could be full health, which beats two, two of hearts. So, take a little bit of extra health. Up to the cathedral. Still flying by the seat of our pants here. Anything could happen, but uh, we're in a very good position to say the least. Especially with that health uphill that we got. Uh, I, I had no idea that coin purse could actually appear as a result of, of that boss fight. So, I'm just going to try to hang out over the rocks here. This is a hard fight. I don't want to blow up the rocks. We're going to be dealing with a, a lot of grandfather flies as well, which is obviously a, a, a problem. Flies are the issue. Oh man, that was close. I have no protection on this side anymore. Flies are the issue uh, with, with this kind of run because obviously we, we have a hard time hitting anything uh, that is right in front of our face and doesn't really absorb shots all that well. Something that's easy to hit is actually a, fairly easy to deal with with this run. I got hit there, unfortunately. Uh, because the, the bomb will just hit them in the face and then stop right in front of them and then it's impossible for them to get away. Spiders, on the other hand, are like the exact opposite of that. Uh, same with flies. But, hey, we made it work. Luckily, we have this sweet army surrounding us. We don't know what this pill does. Luck up. Fine by me. We are going to hold on to this bad trip pill, which could be valuable moving forward. And the uh, tinted rock here just gave us a key, which is unfortunate. Sweet chain reaction, though. We've got uh, the same room we dealt with just a little bit earlier. I don't like being here, as you can probably guess. Oh, yeah, that was bad damage to take. I thought I could get away. Uh, unfortunately I couldn't. And I almost feel like just letting Peeper's Eye handle the rest of this one. Because I really don't want to deal with your bullshit, Gertie J. One more, I think, will do it. I definitely don't want to blow my cover, though. Two more, alright, whatever. There we go. So we're in full health, we got a lot of money. Not that that matters at all. We should be okay to fight Isaac here. Stranger things have happened than a loss on a fight like this. Uh, but, basically just bomb plus... Dodging. Bomb dodge. Bomb dodge. Should be okay. Blue baby's gonna be tougher because it's gonna obviously spawn uh, more enemies and more purple shots for us to deal with. Isaac should be fairly easy. Crowd control shouldn't be much of an issue considering uh, the explosive damage. Should take out angel pieces in one hit. And we are gonna be going to third phase of Isaac as soon as possible. Oh, I did take damage there somewhere. I'm not sure how. Uh, but in like two or three more hits, Isaac will die. If I could avoid taking damage for the rest of the fight, that would be beautiful, fantastic. We're gonna go back to full health. We're gonna go down here to the chest with the D6 still remaining. So, oh, I didn't want to pick up that. We're gonna obviously put that back there. Might as well get rid of the D6 at some point here, though. Okay, here's the thing. Do I want any of these? I want the homing bombs, because that affects our fetus in a jar shots. I think I can reroll everything else, because I'm not even gonna be able to use Horror Babylon. If all goes well, anyway. Definitely take Mr. Mega. Uh... Does mom's contact, or the inner eye, does that shoot triple bombs? Whoa, it shoots one enormous troll bomb. Uh, I fucking like it. Uh, this should allow us to do way more damage way faster. Yeah, we're basically just shooting one fucking huge troll bomb. I'm not sure how that works based on the items that we got, like what created a troll bomb. I didn't even know we could shoot troll bombs. Or Trollololo bombs, if you will. Um, we don't need to pick up those bombs. Our secret room gives us greed, so we're just gonna run away. This bad trip pill is very important. Don't get me wrong there. So a bloat should be easy enough. If I could actually get a shot in there. Which I can't because my range is now lower apparently. That was close. Um, I'm just hanging out. One more shot should do it. Okay, fantastic. That was kind of harrowing for a while there. But we didn't get hit so all is not lost. Uh, again, we've got basically exactly the same room here, and by basically, I mean exactly exactly the same room here. Man, there's a lot of shit to focus on on the screen at all times, okay? It's another easy room. This bad trip pill is going to be very important to use during the boss fight, assuming I can save it for the boss fight, uh, which is obviously my end goal. That was some very tight dodging there. 
Um, good shots. We're losing greed. Hopefully we can get... I want to take care of Wrath next, actually. Because if we kill Lust last, we should have... Um, we should get a heart drop, basically. Which is exactly what I want. Oh, well. They're both going to die very close to one another. Unfortunately, we get bomb drops instead, which is not that important. Ah, uh, double chub. It's probably the worst possible uh, weapon combination for chub that I could have. I mean, in, by my standpoint, it's awesome. By chub's standpoint, it's got to be fucking horrible. We're just shooting big explosive bombs right down its throat. Uh, so that's going to be super easy. I can't believe we haven't gotten another... Um, Red Heart drop at any point during this fight. Or during like this spree towards the, the final boss. But I'm feeling very confident. There's always the chance that things could go wrong. But I think it's it's a low chance now. Uh, as we move on to this final boss fight. Still holding the D6. And man, it is amazing how much our uh, our advantages ended up stacking up there. We didn't start with a great run. Uh, but we ended up actually having probably one of the best runs in the in like the last 50 episodes or so. Peeper's Eye even with the assist, the alley-oop on that bomb shot there. I don't even know if we're going to have to use Bad Trip. We might. And there's, there's always a chance I could still lose just by misusing Bad Trip. The only Bad Trip I know how to use is in Facade. One more hit means Bad Trip. That's a good... Keep that memorized. One more hit means Bad Trip. There we go. So now we're back to full health. And I mean, we could still lose here. There's there's a chance. I, I seem to have trouble getting shots in because he has a fucking personal army surround. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. Just, oh my god! It's the worst possible turn of events! He's dead? No, I walked into the... <laughs> we have Ankh! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we have the Polaroid. I really should... I rerolled Horror of Babylon, unfortunately, because actually Horror of Babylon might not even help me here. Alright, it's gonna come down to this. I really thought we started with four spirit hearts instead. But with one D6 remaining, this is... it could be close. The good thing is we have a lot of uh, invincibility now. Whatever... Oh, fuck, really? Dead Sea Scrolls? Maybe we'll get lucky and Dead Sea Scrolls will be fucking amazing on this boss. There's no way I'm gonna go to other rooms beforehand. Uh, this... who knows? Anything could happen on this one. Um, whenever we get invincible, we can just stand next to him and drop bombs all day, basically. First things first, though, um, Dead Sea Scrolls, the Game Kid, alright. That allows us to do, like, 1% damage. Dropped in a couple of bombs there as well. Now, dodging, obviously, kind of important right now. I think the Troll Bombs are actually hurting me as they, they home for the flies instead of the BB. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, okay, now we have permanent invincibility, just run in here, smash some shots in. This is going better, believe it or not. Now, this is the hard part. The third phase is where things fell off the rails last... Oh, here we go. We got Wiggle Worm. The Wiggle Worm is the worst! Get out of there! Okay, he's dead. Now I just have to beat the single Angel Fetus. We made it. That was a really good run. That was exciting. I liked it a lot. As always, I want to reiterate what I said at the top here. Vote for challenge runs, man. If, when you're in the comments, it's very tempting to upvote, oh, Northern Lion's an idiot because blurp ba derp ba derp And I understand that, don't get me wrong, I'm not maligning you guys. But vote for challenge runs so it's easier for me to see them. That's the main reason, that and reinvigorating myself, that I did the vanilla run today. But in any case, suggest your challenge runs, vote for challenge runs. As always, thank you guys for watching, that run was a lot of fun, and I will see you next time.